Okay. paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan? Found our collector, but no sign of his collection. Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So you still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Right, okay. I'll go there. And listen, that vodka, Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't. But if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. Happy birthday, Daniel. Oh, so you have come after all. Now here, a little something to celebrate another year on the planet. What do you want from me, Gancho? What do you mean? What do you need? Why the gift all of a sudden? But the one said it's your birthday, so I thought you... I understand the concept of a birthday gift. To get it, said Dino Wall. Yeah, uh, okay, uh, listen, happy birthday. Ah, lost the bet. But at least I have something to cheer me up. A bet? Never mind. Lavon is at the bar. Aiden! You came! You invited me. <laughs> Didn't you want me here? Let me get a bottle so you can catch up with us. Hey, Ro? Off duty, hmm? Listen, you know how stressful things can be sometimes. You get your orders, they don't make any sense. You're fighting the clock to get shit done. Oh, I feel you, trust me. So, you made it. Luan won. Who won? Is this about some bet? Yeah, with Daniel. She was sure you'd come. Him, not so much. It's almost as if it mattered to her. That's unusual. Here, Aiden. Drink. Nicholas's finest booze. We were about to play a game. No, Luan, we weren't. Come on. I'm out. Yeah, count me out. Too drunk already. A bunch of losers. Aiden, are you playing? What game? 
Don't bother. You'll just end up really drunk and humiliated. Aiden, the longer we talk, the more time we give this grump to back out. You in or out? Okay, let's do it. My man! Rules are simple. You either answer an awfully personal question about yourself, or you must perform the dare. Okay, wait, so if I don't want to answer the question, I get to pick the dare. You wish. We decide whether it's a truth or dare. If you don't do as you're told, you drink. So, have you slept with anyone in Villador? No. Are you for real? <laughs> Maybe the guy has standards. Fall in love first and all that crap. Yeah, good luck with that. Not everyone is like you, Ro. Okay, your turn. I want to hear you play. Fuck off. Wait, what do you mean? I'll drink. Forget about it. You play an instrument. Never mind. I drank. Moving on. She used to play the ukulele. Really? Guys, moving on. Aiden, you play for Ro, and I dare you to ask Ro to sing. It's awful. There, let's hear those pipes, Ro. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> you asked for it. You're my ragamuffin. <laughs> you might think I'm tough and all, but I always have a ball with you. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> You're my ragamuffin. I know it's just a silly name, but you set my heart aflame. It's true. Good lord, shoot me. Shoot me dead before I have to hear another note. Wow, man, that was... <laughs> that was something. Okay, enough of this. Hey, you want to ask the master assassin here? I always wondered about that hit list. Shut up, bro. It's not your turn. After you escaped from Waltz, what did you do? Ooh, tough one. I did anything I had to in order to survive. All right, like what? That's another question. Drink. No, he's just making you answer the first one. Who cares what he asked? It started way before that. When I escaped from Waltz, Frank helped me. He showed me that there's something else I can do with all my anger. Back then, I thought I'd join them. Be a night runner someday. Ugh. Who was I kidding? They were wiped out at the VNC Tower. Frank lost almost everyone. The night runners fell. Frank started to drink, gave up on life, on himself. <laughs> so, I'm not a night runner. But at least I have my list. <sighs> Good night. Did I ask the wrong question? That's the beauty of this game, Pilgrim. Sooner or later, you get to the wrong question. I'll see you soon, I guess. Gadja! Here you are. Thank you. Thank you for the vodka. Thank you. Let's drink. For me. And another year in this shithole. You're not the worst, you know. Are you finally warming up to me? Nah, it just means there are worse assholes. And that I'm drunk. Where's Levan? I saw her with you. Now we played the game, and I asked the wrong question. 
about her life after escaping from Waltz. <sighs> gotcha, gotcha. You got her thinking about the past. Listen, and I'm not telling you this because I like you. I don't even fucking know why I am telling you this. But never, never ask Lavan about her past. You get it? Good. Now get lost. It's my birthday. Silence lately, honey munch. Could send a postcard at least. Darkness. Or some panties. Stand. Do you uh wear panties in heaven? God I miss you. I'm sad you couldn't watch us build the canteen. The opening shindig we just had. <laughs> the guys think we're onto something here. I love them. Killian, Hakon. It'll be fine. Uh, fuck off and good night. You know, ever since you left, my life's been dedicated to the Night Runners. People been talking shit about us since the army booted us out, ignoring all the good we've done. They say we're junkies because of the inhibitors. <laughs> they just don't get it. Anyhow, I grabbed Killian and Hakon, and I said, Let's build a home where everybody, and I mean everybody, can gather and feel safe. Remember, my old man was an architect. I picked up a few tricks here and there. And so, a bit of fucking around, and wham, we had a canteen. <laughs> Ain't much to look at. Sort of an ugly child you love anyway. But now, everyone's got a place to come sit, drink, and talk. Night runners, PK, survivors, hell, even renegades, if they behave. Snack, isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. No, thank you. Oh, have I embarrassed you? I'm sorry, I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but make it quick. I must admit, 
I admire your persistence. Almost curious what you do after I send you packing, yet again. You'll regret it. Sixteen-year-old Highland single malt. Modeled a year before the pandemic broke out. I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. <sighs> what a sublime present. What can I say? You broke down my defenses. So, you're still after those lamps. Did Matt tell you why he wanted them? Why he really wanted them? Yeah, to take control of the TV tower. Wait, he's serious? Is he crazy? Nobody tried that for over a decade. Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the Butcher's coming attack. So, we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies. Among the renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center. While the Colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever. And half the city will find itself under toxic water. The Colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. So why did the Butcher attack the canteen? That's in the city center. Good question. Maybe it wasn't the Colonel who gave the order. Something more is going on. It's something we don't yet understand. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them, then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. Why would Jack skim UV lamps? And here, friend, the mystery takes flight. Jack never got over the fact that he didn't defeat the Butcher back when he had the chance, years ago. He knew that if he attacked the dam, the Colonel would close the floodgates, and the rising water levels would push the chemicals up out of the ground, burning through everything that lives in this city. And it's been a stalemate for over 10 years, each waiting for the other to make a move. But then, someone turned the power on and something changed and the renegades attack the canteen. I'm not here for my health, Juan. I need the lamps to- To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister, specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources, I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. Let's help each other. Smart man, Aiden. Barely in town a minute and you've picked the right side already. I'll give you the lamps. That'll keep Matt from getting suspicious. But then, go to the cathedral. There's a guy hiding out there. Total nut job, but a tech savant. Get him to fix this old piece of spy tech. If we get it working, we can bug the transmitter Jack wants to place on top of the VNC spire. Have him do his thing. 
By tapping Matt's comms, we'll find out what he's doing with the extra lamps. And knowing's half the battle, kiddo. Well, you know where to go.
Hey, I'm Aiden. What's your name? Match? I was asked to bring you home. What about the infected up there? There aren't any. It's safe. Then, uh... I'll just hang here. Tell Hugh I'll... Uh, be back later. Look, your father wants you home. He's worried. Hugh ain't my father. I just... work for him. Like a slave. I... I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to go back. You can't make me. And what's Hugh's real story? Never mind. I don't want to get other boys into trouble. No, it's okay. You can tell me. Stay out of it, okay? It's none of your business. Fine. I'll talk to him myself. You really want to stay here? Sure. Not my first time alone in the city. I can take care of myself. <laughs> I bet. Hey, Aiden. Thanks for clearing out the infected. No problem, kid. Thank you. 